more labor intensive than a cheese that's packed in plastic and, and kept in a refrigerated space. Okay. Because of why? Oh, they have to they have to be turned very frequently. Oh, okay. Like in the beginning it's turned every day. And uh, after about three, four months we have to vacuum each cheese, get the surface dust off and to allow for the the, the new molds to sprout, as you will. Okay. And uh, so that, that all takes time, as you can imagine. We have 250 wheels in just one batch to vacuum oh, wow. each cheese, all the boards. Then, uh, at about a year, they're about burned. We can start selling them. And by then, they'll have lost about 10% of their weight. So the flavors have gotten more concentrated. Okay. And also, the enzymes that are in the cheese will have started really unfolding. tasting all of the best cheeses made in the state of Wisconsin. So almost every artisan, farmstead, and specialty cheese maker is here in this room and they're uh, sampling about 150 different cheeses. It's the only time really that all of these folks are in the same room at the same time and um, I think the cheese makers like it as much as the people who come sure. to taste it because the cheese makers like to, taste, like to talk to folks. Sure. And what, how long has this event been going on? This is the third year. Okay. Um, every year it gets a little bit uh, bigger. In fact, next year we're going to be moving into the ballrooms here at the mm -hmm. terrace because I've run out of room for cheesemaker tables. And I have to get all the cheesemakers in the room. So next sure. year we're going to be actually expanding to a bigger bigger venue. And all of these cheesemakers are from Wisconsin? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, only Wisconsin cheesemakers um, are invited to the event. And only if they're making either a farmstead or artisan or a specialty cheese. A lot of the cheeses that are here are actually cheeses that are so small batch, um, limited quantity, made by hand, that they never make it to a lot of grocery stores. A lot of them are just sold at the cheesemakers' local farmer's market. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of one of the beauties of this event is that you can taste all these really small batch, you know. You can taste cheeses that are milk from 14 goats um, that, you know, that you can't find anywhere really else other than the farmer's market that the cheesemaker goes to. So Wisconsin Cheese Originals is a member-based organization and um, basically most of my members are foodies. I call them super 
super foodies. Um, it's totally, it's just it's mostly for consumers. And oh, so you don't need to be a cheesemaker. Oh to no, make it. I mean I have a few cheesemakers who are members, but they're members mostly just to be supportive of the organization. Okay. But um, all of my events are uh, completely dedicated to consumers and foodies because um, I have found that more consumers want to know, want to meet the people who are making their cheese, and so events like this are perfect because you can meet the cheesemaker at the same time that you're sampling their cheese. My understanding is you're going to do some mini tours of the Dane County Farmers Market. Yes, yeah. So tomorrow morning, it's this is one of the things that sells out the most the quickest is I offer small group tours of the farmers market. So a tour later with four or five people, and so they get a personal walking tour of the farmers market, and then they get personal introductions to each, each of the cheesemakers. Wonderful. And um, people love that. I mean, it's one thing to walk the farmers market, but it's another, especially if you're from out of town, to um, be with someone who knows the city, knows the cheesemakers. It kind of elevates the experience. Anything else? Gosh, I don't think so. I, it's I just cheese. Cheesemakers are some of the most special people ever to work with. They're, I mean, they're passionate, they're hardworking, they're appreciative, and so um, of all of the different careers I've had, this is my favorite, and this is the one I'm probably going to do forever. Wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, what did you bring to, uh, today? So, today we brought some five-year, some seven-year, and some ten-year cheddar. Okay. We brought five different styles of blue, the Blue Paradise, the Tilston Point, um, the Gorgonzola, the original blue, and the Little Boy Blue. Okay, now can these be uh, obtained at the farmer's market? Yes, we'll have them at the farmer's market every Saturday. Okay. And what are some of the reactions you've gotten from some of the people here at the, at the show? Uh, they love the cheddars. They love the progression. They can taste the difference between the ages. Uh, the blues, they didn't realize there could be that many different styles of blue. Okay. And love the different flavors of the blues, especially the uniqueness of the Tilston Point. Wonderful. And my understanding is the 15 year is uh, being sold at this point, cheddar? Yes, we just released another batch this week. And so we let, released it on the first. We'll have it at the farmer's market tomorrow, the 5th. And you think that it'll be there for a few weeks anyway? We will have some till Christmas. We saved enough back for ourselves to sell that we'll be able to supply people through Christmas. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm Felix Stahlhammer, owner of Capri Cheese. Okay, and tell me what you brought with you today. Well, today I brought with me Smoky Bear, Wash Bear, St. Felix, Celestazon, mm -hmm. and my um, Wash Blanc with Pesto. Oh, wonderful. So, so that is a spreadable cheese that can be used on any crack or any sandwich. Um, even, you know, the baguettes that um, you put in the garlic butter, you can do the same thing with, uh, with fromage green, I call it actually. That's the name of it for today. And um, so it's a very pleasant uh, cheese that's made with cheap milk. And um, uh, smooth, very creamy, outstanding. Can we, uh, bring all these cheeses to the Dane County Farmers Market? I, I will have all these cheeses at the Dane County Farmers Market. You make all the cheese yourself. I do make all those cheeses. I cure them. I even cut them and, you know, uh, package them up myself. And I do the marketing. And I'm the one-man the one guy. You are it. I'm it.